Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Meta HSC for another week of Rocket League action. We're at the halfway point of the season now, week number five. So this is where we start to get into the pointy end, and this is where we get to see or start to see the teams really break apart from each other. My name is Chris. A pleasure to join you as always. And this week, being joined by Gex, who makes his return to the Meta HSC stream. Gex, good afternoon to you. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, great. It's good to be back and uh, to be included as a regular for a little bit now as well. Um, uh, definitely a nice position to be in. I'm excited to be here, particularly with the De La Soul boys coming out. I know I've spectated them uh, before, so I'm interested to see how they go again. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what how this first game goes. It will be uh, HPSC against De La Salle in the uh, Victoria and Tasmania divisions, Hamilton Park Secondary College, for those wondering. And well, yeah, both teams currently three and one, so there is still a decent chance for either of these teams to make it into the regional playoffs, and then even then possibly even to the uh, national stage, which would be pretty darn good for the players. Yeah, as huge goals. Yeah, I mean, taking on teams from around the nation and New Zealand as well, that would be pretty darn epic. Which I think we say this every week, but. Would have been great if we had the opportunity in our days when we were back at high school. But hmm. anyways, first game should be starting up very shortly here. In fact, players are now just trickling on to the sides. Has... Of, uh, things we wouldn't have had back in our day. Welcome to the Fortnite Stadium as well. Yes. <laughs> you don't see this too often. Uh, professional Rocket League coming in strong here, except... Uh, we don't have players. Yes, um, we they are filtering in. Now. Here we go. All right, we do have a game underway successfully at the very least. Yeah, but only two players for De La Salle here, so don't know what's happening with them. Oh, yeah, it looks like one of their players might be having internet issues, which is very, not very good at all. And with that, Galactic Light will get an opener on uh, De La Salle. Yeah, disappointing start here, uh, but. Overall, a uh, well-taken goal there, read it off the wall well, and had the patience to be able to push that one in. HP SC is up by one. Yep, they get the early goal here, and we're we'll looking for more as... That's actually a pretty good kickoff here for De La Salle, but... Uh, oh, sorry, for uh, Hampton, but they weren't able to convert. Uh, Jurelik able to get back in time for the save, but Galactic Light now just trying to set something up yet again here. But the ball's just stuck in their attack at the moment here, so... They're also playing pretty well at the moment for a pretty big two situation. We saw a fair few of these last week, which were very, uh... Just a little bit disappointing to see, but, uh... Most of the players still fought on well regardless, so... That was pretty good fun, and hopefully... Well, we have slightly more competitive games here today, as... Galactic Light able to clear it out, but Mega Chungus... Will be able to track the ball back on to... His own backboard. His teammate as well is going to try and lift up the play, but Galactic Light, that is perfect steal. No one at home to save it, and that will be an easy double up there for Hampton Park as they go two for nothing. Yeah, a great little shot there as well. Uh, you got to say, it's a difficult situation uh, for the De La Salle guys. Um, De La Knights are going to struggle here. One of the toughest things to do when you are pushed into a 2v3 situation like this is to find that switch um, from defense into attack. You want to be super defensive because you've got so much pressure on you. However, you need to be able to switch into that attacking position occasionally. And with oh, really limited good. rotations... You get into positions like this occasionally, if you can do well with it. Keralik, a great little tap into goal. Yeah, just played a patient there. No one went for the bumper or a demo, and that just opened it up perfectly for him there. So he gets the first goal for his team as Crispy has made it back into the server. So we're into a 3v3 now as. Well, Dallas Hall looks to try and get the equalizer. Will they do it here? Yes, they will. And the man with the internet issues, he will get the equalizer. A crispy salt coming in straight away and actually facing some connection issues for the first few seconds he was in. It didn't let him. It didn't let that stop him getting straight onto the ball and a good, good shot there. Like you said, evening up the game. It's going to turn into a pretty tight series, but crispy salt. A second shot right off the bat. A kickoff goal will be uh, De La Salle's. Yeah, and they get a pretty nice one as well. Galactic, or oh, Crispy Salt, 
just getting it yet again and well he is definitely being well he's definitely the man that's proving the difference at the moment here he's gotten two goals out of very few seconds here after having some internet issues early on so yeah this is massive if you're supporting the uh, B team from De La Salle as they look to try and hold this lead with Galactic Light he's also on his own double up here be looking to make that into a hat trick but can he do it well he's able to bump Crispy sold off the play and well that will mean that Hampton Park will be able to get the ball back onto the attack once again but yeah as soon as the ball well this game is turned back into a 3v3 it has toughened up a fair touch here for Hampton Park and well they need to just try and keep that ball on attack here because those little mistakes like that can just open it up for their opponents to maybe extend the lead a little pass out here, a good choice considering both teammates were back. Dela Dahl is able to find each other well here. They are a fairly strong team in this competition, and uh, despite this being the B team, it doesn't seem to be letting up. Now, a good 50 by Duralik will send this out to the corner. Galactic Light won't be able to grab that boost. It will stay right in front of the net here, but eventually get cleared away by Yobo. I'm going to come up to this back corner here, and... Um, it's going to be a good thing that Hampton Park were able to take advantage of that 2v3 situation early on because they're still down one now. Another shot on goal will get blocked away now and Galactic Light should be able to put this a little bit more safely into the corner now. Yeah, but they can't really clear it out from there here as De La Salle continues to hold all the cards at the moment here. Crispy wasn't really able to do anything there from the corner and that will finally allow a bit of breathing room there for Hampton, but... As soon as I say that, Jurelik just brings it straight back into that corner. And once again, just forces that pressure on to Hampton Park to try and react here. But now we're seeing De La Salle having a few little mistakes throw of their own here. As they try to clear out of their own half, they will be able to by taking the high ground. No one challenging Crispy Soul as he goes for the play. There's no one at home to save it. And that could just be the goal that secures game one for De La Salle. Yeah, and it comes out an interesting way there as well. De La Salle actually a little bit of panic on there and creates some mistakes that it looks like uh, Hampton Park were really keen to capitalize on. Maybe a little bit too keen. They sent everybody upfield and a long clear is enough to take a uh, slow goal from that long shot. Yeah, the attack there from Hampton Park just drew everyone away from the net and yeah, that slow shot was allowed to come in because of it. So. Well played there to get the fourth goal there for De La Salle. They look to just try and burn the clock away here. They're still getting a few more attempts on the board as well as Galactic Light looks at the very least. Trying to find one more consolation for his team, but he just can't get past our own halfway line at the moment. And it's really showing here. They're also starting to run out of boost as well as Shirelik sets it up. But Crispy Soul just couldn't finish it off there. He sends it a bit too fast into the crossbar and it's been spat out of the net. As we enter the final 30 seconds, however, that could just be a minute point here. Stuart is so close yet again, but this time it's just popped off the bottom corner. But, as I said earlier, it only won't matter at the end of it here as with Crispy Soul coming back in to get a hat-trick after not being in the server for the first 90 seconds. He has just lifted this team to a new height and will pick up game one because of a double sale. Winners 4-2. Yeah, gonna find ground, and like you said, De La Salle coming in strong after a rough start in that game, that uh, connection issue, ending up not having too much of a problem. In fact, Crispy Salt, the man who did c disconnect, comes out as the player of that match with 559 points, three goals and five shots. Uh, quite the strong attacker on the team. Yeah, Zori making a pretty good case for him to, uh, to be the excuse me, to be the uh, player of the series here. So, as we go to the Salty Shores now, let's see what they can do here at Hampton Park. Can they respond? Well, well, we'll find out soon enough here as we head on to the beach. All the players are on to their respective sides. Well, apart from uh, Salty, who seems to be having some PC issues here. It probably explains why he wasn't able to join in the first game immediately as we get back on the way here. De La Salle probably just looking to hold the fort down as they wait for 
their teammate to return. But they're looking to possibly go for a goal from it anyways. Jurelik sets it up, but he just couldn't finish off the play. He eventually gets crowded out. But he has plenty of time to rotate back onto his own back wall to defend. And uh, now he's the only player remaining here. Vega Chungus has just popped back, but uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, Oh, it looks like Dallas Howe's being dogged with internet oh. issues at the moment, but it still could result in a goal yet again. Mega Chungus set it up, but he just sent it a little bit too high as Crispy Salt returns back onto the server. Yeah, and uh, it's an earlier return for Crispy than the first game. Already, we've actually seen Dallas Sal have a lot of confidence, despite being only two players. They did get a little bit lucky not to get scored on in those earlier uh, moments there, and they cannot uh, really let up and give Hampton too much room. There definitely isn't a big enough skill gap between these teams for them to take this lightly. Crispy Salt's going to take this away to the wall now. He does seem to be the man to watch, especially if you can get out some mechanics like this. He looked like he almost wanted to go for a flip reset there. I would have been incredibly impressed. Galactic can pass that down to Zenzen. But it won't be a shot yet! Ooh. Kelly in at the last moment will send it high, though. Yeah, Kelly just couldn't get the direction on the ball and sends it high and it back into the midfield here where Crispy Salt picks up the ball, gets the ball. Redirection nicely off the corner, but Zan Zan able to just clear it out of danger here. Back onto the tagging backboard here, but look who picks up the ball once again. But Crispy Salt, ooh, that could have been good, but he just loses his car momentarily. Just drops the ball into the corner. Luckily for him, no opponent goes or was in a real position there to really fully capitalize on taking a shot out. And, well, once again, he's just going to be allowed to clear out. Kelly, well positioned there to block off that attack. But the rotations coming out from De La Salle here, really working for him, even if they can get a bit too crowded with each other here. They clear the ball out once again. They have an opportunity, but Galactic Light able to just flick it off the crossbar and out of danger for the moment. Yeah, great save there from Galactic Light. Kelly's going to let it go. Zenzen has to make Zenzen. a save. Actually, oh. no, post <laughs> barely saving it. Zenzen, brilliant job there to make sure this goal line stays at 0-0. Zero, zero. Never doubt him. Never doubt him on that save. <laughs> oh, man, that was... Very, very close to hitting the post, but yeah, it still means we're at an equilibrium here with two minutes remaining, but Galactic Light, he has the opportunity, but he sends it wide, Zanzen, unable to find a second attempt, he tries to the center, but it's immediately picked up by Crispy, he goes for an all the way attempt, but Galactic Light quickly rallies back to get the save, Jurelik now picking up the ball in the midfield here, leaving it to Mega Chungus, but he runs out of boost, Galactic Light, Sets it up for his teammate, but there's no teammate to be found behind him here. Kelly now puts it back into the attacking third, but De La Salle just continues to just harry this pressure out of their own half here. They're doing very, very well at the moment to keep this game at nil all, but eventually they need to find another shot on net here to try and win out the series 2 to nothing. This could be it here. Jurelik nearly gets it, but the ball just drops away from him. Kelly gang. Taking that out wide as well. Three people in that corner. It's good that they got that past the uh, member of De La Salle there. They could have been in trouble. It's going to come back to the midfield. Now, Kelly, over one. Crispy Salt is available. He's going to put that center with nobody in goal. It was a dangerous position for a moment, but put back away to the corner for safety. Yeah, they just put it to the corner here. Stop the attack. They still have to play defense here, though, De La Salle. And that could be dangerous. It's Mega Chunk is just taps it down to Crispy Salt, but he's corner in a contested 50. Ball just goes across the field here as Zanzan now tries to pick it up on the backboard here. Has to just try and grab it away from Crispy Soul. Mega Chunga sets something up, but once again, just a little bit too fast and high there to go in. As Galactic Light tries his best to get that narrow angle through. Won't be able to here. Crispy Soul able to just drop it into a dead zone here. Ooh. But Jurelik steals the ball away from Galactic Light and he will convert and that could just prove the crucial goal to take out the series two to nothing. It hurt me when I saw Galactic turn on that with zero boost there as well right at the end. He didn't he wasn't sure his teammate was gonna take the shot and he knew they had an opportunity but unfortunately the timing of that challenge is gonna cost them a point and with no time left they have to score immediately to stay in this series now. 
Can they do it though? That's the main question here. Ball's been taken away from him, however. One Kelly. last chance here for Galactic Light, but Crispy sold the inside line, able to take the ball away. It's onto the roof, onto the sidebar. Galactic Light's able to keep it up here, but Crispy Soul picks it up. That's going to go into a dead zone, and that is going to be De La Salle B's team picking up the series 2 to nothing after a fair few issues at the start of both games. Yeah, a huge, huge win for De La Salle. Uh, the B team there coming through, s looking as strong as an A team, really, and um, doing very, very well uh, for themselves to pick this win up with no contest and with trouble on their own ends as well. Those disconnects from Crispy Salt still... He comes through as the number one man for the team. It's been quite a match for him. And uh, you know what? There wasn't a huge amount of difference between these teams, I don't think. But the difference was consistent enough for De La Salle to just come up on top. Uh, most challenges. And it's it really resulted in a big win for them. Yeah. And, well, I think that just makes the... Uh... The choice for the player of the series, pretty darn easy. I mean, mm -hmm. he wasn't there for about two and a half minutes of it. But, uh, yeah, Crispy Salt just really, really showed what he could do there, especially with the three goals in the opening game. So, uh, yeah, pretty good stuff from him. Anyways, that will mean that that's going to be our first game of the day. Done and does it. We'll be back in about 35 minutes for our second game, which will take you back to... SA and the Northern Territory to see how St. Mark's goes on against Glenunga, which should be a pretty darn good game. See you then at 6pm.